so we have created we have created the company code now our company code is ready so we will now try to configure the fixed asset accounting in this we'll go to the first node where we will have org structure okay so we'll first assign a chart of depreciation we'll first copy we'll copy from one us and we'll make it one aa so it says one us does not exist i think it is zero us we can check yeah it's zero us So we'll copy the chart of depreciation. So what we are going to do is we'll copy the depreciation chart and then we will assign it to our company code. It said copied. Okay. Then we can rename the chart of depreciation. We can say chart of depreciation for AA. okay and then we have copy delete depreciation area so we will see what all we need what all we want to delete in terms of depreciation area so i'll explain this activity this is a crit critical activity so this activity determines what all depreciation area you need in future what all valuations of assets you have in your organization and what all reporting you need for what all reporting is required for this for the particular company code so, and what all postings have been will be coming which all areas can post which all areas cannot post all this setup comes into this table okay so i can go through this quickly then i'll delete some of the areas just to show that how can we delete the areas okay so let's take an example just for a sample purpose let's delete these two areas we don't want them okay and then we save it and now system says assign the ledger group okay it's the accounting principle or the ledger group where you need a parallel reporting so 60 is the accounting principle and the ledger group is 0l 0l is the leading ledger so if you go by the generic structure leading ledger is always 0l and for non leading you can give your own name so now my chart of depreciation is ready what i didn't need to do next is assign chart of depreciation to company code my company code was aa01 and my chart of depreciation was 1aa okay so i can assign here so that's how i i make the relationship between my company code and my chart of and my chart of depreciation
so these are the global settings org structure setting there is another org structure setting is the number range and the asset class so number range is something you know sap gives you two options uh, you can have a number range from one company code let's say you have 50 company codes you can say okay my number of the assets will be running across the company code rather having by company code so it is more suitable for the shared service environment if the operations are restricted to by company code then it is the customer's choice you know you can go by company code so here, here we have a specify number assignment across company codes so aa01 will take number range from aa01 that's what it says i can put this any other company code as well so whatever number range is maintained in that company code system will take the number range from that company code i have a choice you know whether it is company specific number range or across company number range okay moving ahead next step is the asset class so let me give you the background of asset class so the way asset class works is asset class is a bucket where your assets when you create an asset it will ask which class you want you have a machinery you have plant you have land you have building you have equipments you have vehicles you create a buckets asset class determine the number of the asset asset class determine the gl account of the asset it is one of the key element when you talk about asset accounting to gl integration it is one of the key element okay so as we move ahead we will see you know uh, how this works so behind the scene asset class is assigned to the account determination and account determination is assigned to the gl gl account so technically every asset has to fall under one or the other asset class and it cannot be more than one you cannot say that this is asset x asset is falling under asset class machinery and asset class equipments no it has to fall under only one and only one asset class so we will say define asset class and we will make a copy of this one so we will make a copy let's copy machinery z a a 001 okay we'll copy another one we'll have at least three asset class we have this one z a a 002 and then we will have let's copy vehicles z a a 003 okay so we let let us see what we did these are the three which we make a copy okay we can rename them and now we will see what all is sitting in behind the scenes okay 
so here what we have is asset class number we have asset class name then we have account determination that's what i just said the account determination is something we drive the gl account okay so this is driving the gl account behind the scenes then we have number range which number range the one is copying here we have 03 let's see what we have here here we have again sorry yeah 03 we have you have 02 okay so this is driving the number range if you want to block the asset class you can lock this one asset class is locked so it will not allow anything you know if you go through the help this indicator prevents to new asset being created in the asset class so system whenever you want to create asset in this system will say this is blocked you cannot create it okay so this is my asset class then we come to account determination we just looked into this so these are the account determination which are there you know behind the scene this will call the gl account so we can create our own if required if not we can use the existing one so this is something very important you know from gl account perspective so we can create a copy of this let's do one thing let's create of create one asset class on our own and we will say and now z001 we will assign to our asset class sorry okay here we can assign 
the one we created so we can create our own account determination so basically the objective is this account determination will drive the gl account which which should be used when you capitalize the asset when you depreciate the asset the ad account and i don't know how it get blocked so all the all the gl account determination is driven by this particular account determination okay now let's see the number range what number range is assigned we will try to change the number range also so we don't have anything here so we say 01 okay then we have 02 I'm just creating a very real example that, that that's how it works normally. Two nine nine zero three because we have created three asset class, so I'll try to ensure that I assign each of them to different one. Okay, now I saved it. now i go to my asset class and then i see first one then i assign range 01 okay then i go to my second one i assign my range 02 then i go to my third one then i assign range 03 okay so this is how it works so i have assigned my def my range the number range i created to the asset classes okay 